Yeah, welcome back to the Floyd and Melanie show. I'm your host, Floyd. And I'm your girl, Mel. And welcome back to another topic. What you want to talk about, Mel? Talk to me. Listen, I'm just over here thinking about, like, when we first got together, all these haters just, like, saying all these negative things about us. Yo, listen, man. People had goat mouth, right? <laughs> On me and my wife when we got started back in 2005, right? Now, you know, you're going to have to explain what goat mouth means to people. Listen, listen, people. Goat mouth in Jamaica means negative people with their negative thoughts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I say just straight negativity coming out of their mouth. Just like pretty much people putting like salt in someone's, you Listen, know. man, anybody we you say with negative, uh-huh. call them goat mouth. <laughs> you know, like Jamaican <laughs> curry goat, they call them people like goat mouth. They have a goat mouth in the virgin. Top with the goat mouth. You know what I say? <laughs> but yeah, man, I remember this person back in 05, like told my wife, like, oh, y'all not going to last more than two years. You know what I say? Oh, my goodness. Like, he knew we got married. And he was just a co-worker. Uh, we were cool and everything. But dude just came up to me and said, man, y'all ain't going to last more than two years. Like, how do you have the balls to say that to someone? That man have a goat mode. <laughs> a real goat mode. Well, his goat mouth went nowhere because we've been together strong for now almost 20 years. Yeah, man. But yo, me not going to call him name, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yo, you have a goat mode. <laughs> if you hear this podcast, right, you have a goat mode. <laughs> You know what I mean? I said. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. So what else, man? Talk to me. Listen, it's just like we've been through so much. And I remember like when we first got together, we just kept like our relationship a secret. Yeah. Just because, you know, all these people that we worked with, they were just so like, like just you said, negative. they were, yes, yeah, man, they were yeah, negative. And then. Sometimes it's not a secret in a mail, but yeah. sometimes what's good, mm -hmm. you have to keep it on the down low. Whatever. You know what I mean? I said. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to sing another song then about. Keep it on the... What? <laughs> Sometimes people, listen, people, the younger generation, certain things when I do, yeah. when I just keep it on the DL, you know what I mean? I say, on the down low. Yeah. If you don't like somebody, keep it on the hush-hush because some people just negative yeah. and their mouth is like a sword. You know what I mean? I say, just negative. Well, not only that, but you had all these girls crushing on you, so... <laughs> yeah, man, because you know me was a PIMP still. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm joking still. No, PIMP. I'm not a pimp. You know what I say? No. Why well, do you think I said no to giving you my number back in the, those days? Yes, listen, man. I asked my wife, you know, for like <laughs> three weeks straight. Can I get your number? Nope. She's like, nah, you're a player. I'm like, nah, I ain't a player. Because I'm Jamaican, I'm a player. You know me, I say, not every Jamaican a player. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a player, baby. I just want your number. I'm like, yo, put, put your number down on the paper right quick. You know me, I say? And back then, I think I had a Nokia phone. <laughs> no, you know which one? It, they were, they were the... um. Sidekick. The sidekicks, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's what I had. Damn, uh -huh. you remember that? Yeah. You had two. Come on now. You had two sidekicks. Don't sit there and pretend like you're thinking you had two. And you only gave me the number to one of them. Really? I did? Yes, because I didn't know the number to the other one. Lord God. Let me start that topic. <laughs> Lord God, boy. You know, nothing gets by us women. So, Melanie, tell the people um, yeah. what happened at the restaurant. When I took you and your mom out to eat, talk to me. You know, we had to test you. Test? Yes, of course. You know, mom and, and daughter has to test the so-called, you know, oh, I like your daughter, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, you have to be so tested. On. You guys test me and all I had in my checking account was $110. <laughs> <laughs> That's not our fault. Listen, people. Listen, <laughs> Melanie and your mother, you know, take me to this restaurant. Never yes. forget it. Nice restaurant, In New too. Haven, Connecticut, right next to the ocean. Yes, it was beautiful, too. When I went in there, we had to wait, like, what, two hours to eat? Yes. I know you listen, were pissed. Yo, listen, people. <laughs> you know, us Jamaican love fast food, you know. You know what I mean? I say, like KFC. You know what I mean? I say... And I thought Melanie and the mom was going to take me to KFC, so I'll pay, you know? Oh, hell no, in my KFC, head for, that's like listen, lunch. Listen, for 110 I'm like, okay, if a meal is like $14, whatever. You know what I mean? I said, good. <laughs> I wanted to Melanie. Talk to me, man. Oh, man. So, you know, my mom you, and listen, I... Listen, listen, Melanie. Yeah. Listen, people. They ordered starters. Well, you have... Not only do you have starters, you also have the salad. Oh, Lord. I mean, I don't know if you thought that you were taking out a girl who did not like to eat. I'm sorry. Women love to eat. Oh, Lord. But listen, man, them are the starter. <laughs> then I guess the salad. Yes. Then me look upon them and I count them in my brain. I say, okay, I have $110. <laughs> they order some starters. Okay, that's like $14. And I'm calculating my brain like, okay. And I'm, then, you know, we're right by the ocean, so we have to order like shrimp. Yes. 
<laughs> me I tell her, say, I tremble. That day, I tremble like a leaf. Jamaican people, <laughs> me tremble like a leaf. Trust me, because I say, 110 dollar like can't buy a smut something. <laughs> you know what I say? And I was just cackling in my brain, like I said, you know? Yeah, and, listen, and it was expensive listen, in a nice restaurant, yes, too. Yes, and when the, I think when the waitress came around and asked mm-hmm. what I want to eat, when I saw what they were ordering, <laughs> listen, people, I ordered a burger. The cheapest thing on the, the menu. The cheapest thing. I'm like, okay, I have a burger. She, she was like, oh, you don't order something? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I need the burger. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I say? Listen, listen, you laughing, yo. That's, that was wrong, man. And listen up, people. When I thought my wife and the mom was done ordering, nope. the waitress came around and said, do you guys need dessert? <laughs> it's like she was right in on it, too. Probably. <laughs> and I, th- I forgot what you guys ordered, but trust me, man. When some type of cheesecake or something. When the bill, I was so ner- so nervous. Let me say, no, uh-huh. I was shaking, and I think the total <laughs> came for like a hundred and thirty something dollars. And I gave, I think I had a, f- um, my bank was like Fleet Bank or something like that. I don't remember. What, I think it's Bank of America. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. F- yeah back in the day, it was like Fleet Bank. Never, uh-huh. never forget it, right? And I gave the waitress my card, and she walked away. You were shaking. I was shaking. Were your hands cold? Cool, <laughs> cool like a ice. And when I saw her coming back, I'm trying to give her the eye contact. I'm like, oh, my God, please, please, please. Please go through. Please yes, go through. And she came and she gave me the paper to sign. And I signed the paper. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know what I say? <laughs> yeah, man. And listen, man, listen. Oh, and, back, man. and back then, me, you know, me never driving up, right? So because I never drive, no, I had to take the train from where I lived, which was like an hour, or like 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> so I took the train from my house all the way to New Haven, Connecticut, right? Got off the train. They picked me up. Picked me up at the train station. Yeah. Brought me to the expen- expensive restaurant. <laughs> After they used up all of my money, right? They took me back to the train station, right? And I had to, t- had to hop on the train lonely <laughs> all the way back to my house with no money. <laughs> Listen, I went to the restaurant with, like I said, I went to the restaurant with $110 <laughs> and came back negative. <laughs> negative. And then you also had to pay the train pass. Or the train ticket, whatever no, man, the heck I, it's I think, called. No, I had a round trip. Okay, okay, I, I had okay. a round trip. I, I remember I had a round trip. I made sure at least I had a round trip. You know what I mean? I said, and trust me, my bank account was negative. And I remember it was the week when I got paid. <laughs> so I didn't get paid again for the next two weeks. <laughs> I remember I had to go home and ask my grandmother for money. Oh and my, my grandmother goodness. asked me, what happened to your money? <laughs> but then my grandmother said, the money lasts. <laughs> I know my grandmother looked at me like, liar. You know what I mean? I said, <laughs> oh, my God. But like I said, man, it was an expensive restaurant in New Haven, Connecticut, man. It was like, yo, stuff like that, you got to laugh about it. You know what I mean? You do. I, said, I mean, look at us now. Yeah, because it's sure, it's sure, <laughs> it's sure me mm-hmm. how far I'm coming from. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I said, and not just me. A lot of couples go through similar situations like that. You know what I mean? I said, All you wanted to do was impress my mom. Obviously, you haven't met my dad yet, so you have to impress one of them. But listen, though, listen, that, that did crazy, though, because one of to me, yeah. expensive <laughs> restaurant, $110 in my account. Uh-huh. When I look at the account after, you know, I stop at the bank, you know, and I look, I say negative, like, I think it was like $22 or something. So it, was, it was something like that. Listen, you know at least I left a tip. You did, right? Yeah, I did. Well, you think, say, I never no tip to leave anyway. <laughs> because at KFC, we don't leave no tip. <laughs> We just order the food and leave. You know what I mean? I say, if you go to McDonald's, people, you, you leave a tip? No. If you go to Papa, you leave a tip? Papa I mean, it? well, think about it. If you go to McDonald's, you know how they have like the little Ronald McDonald thing? You can leave uh, a few cents Listen, in there. listen. I have a question, Melanie. Straight yes, up. Yes, yes. If you could remember. Mm-hmm. When you guys dropped me back off at the train station, right? Yeah. Were you guys laughing going home? No. Because I, I remember f- we're from New Haven to where you guys live in Wallingford, right? Uh-huh. It was like a 20-minute drive. Right. So on a drive home, nice and easy. Yeah, and I, 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 I was on the train sweating, <laughs> shivering. You know me, I said, but yo, man, like I said, it's good stories good to, times, to talk good about. Times, you know yeah. me, I said, but listen, this is a short podcast, right? I'm your host Floyd, and I'm your girl Mel, and thank you guys for listening.